A local man is under investigation after police say he shot and killed a pit bull that he says was attacking his dog. 7 Action News reporter Amira David talked with the owner of the pit bull and he tells another story. Amira? That's right. I just spoke to that owner moments ago. I want to point you in the direction of the fence over there because that's the fence from which the pit bull unexpectedly ran out of. That's when the confrontation all began. The owner walking his dog says it was an attack, but the owner of the pit bull says it was just a big misunderstanding. And that dog was 10 times the size of my dog. The owner of a now dead pit bull has been left stunned. He asked us not to show his face today, but tells us he was at work when the entire incident unraveled. That dog was not vicious. An unnamed man was walking his dog in this neighborhood on Saturday morning when some kind of confrontation ensued between an unleashed pit bull and a mastiff. Roseville police say witnesses told them they saw the owner of the Mastiff try and fight the dog off physically with no success. He eventually pulled a handgun that he was carrying and shot the dog twice, unfortunately killing the, uh, the attacking dog. They probably just wanted to play. They're, they get excited. And if he's shouting at them, if, he's, if they're sitting there shouting, they're going to get riled up. Police say the gun owner had a license to carry and that his dog was on a leash. So regardless of how the confrontation started, that means the law will seemingly fall on the side of the dog walking owner. This gentleman has the right to protect his property if somebody else's property is infringing on him. Attorney Ven Johnson says what's likely being evaluated by prosecutors now is the extent of force used. So you always have to be reasonable and make sure you're not just pulling out your gun and using it, period, no matter what. Now, this whole thing is under investigation, but again, it does seem like the owner of the Mastiff was well within his right to do what he did. But again, just a tragic incident for all parties involved. We know, especially for the owner of the pit bull and for many of the neighbors we talked with here today, they say they knew this dog to be non-aggressive and very friendly. I'll send it back to you guys. Live in Roseville, Amira David, 7 Action News.